Hello everyone, so a very quick one. I want to share with you the word of God from the book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. So something happened and I got the understanding about this Bible passage. In fact, I, I was directed to this Bible passage by the help of the Holy Spirit, by God's grace. So I know a lot of people might know it, but this passage I wanted to pay more attention to it. So I have a quick question. Are you a believer or you are an unbeliever? So listen. This Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 highlights the deep truth about God's nature, right? And the security he offers to his followers. So if you are not God's follower, he's calling on you as well. So just to break this down for you for better understanding as I understood this particular passage while reading it again and again. So according to the Bible from this particular passage, right? And the name of the Lord refers to God's character. It refers to God's power. It also refers to God's authority, including his qualities like omnipotence, love, justice, you know. There's another part I want us to pay attention to, a strong tower. So in ancient times, a strong tower was like a place of safety and protection, right? So when calling God's name, a strong tower shows its ability to protect and also provide a safe heaven. I'll call it safe heaven for those who trust him and at the same time from this particular bible passage the righteous run to it right so this also means that the righteous are those who live in a right relationship with god so running to the name of the lord means actively seeking his presence and also his protection and also trusting in him rather than in ourselves so and are safe which is the last part of this passage. This particular part is the safety, right? It's not just the physical safety. It's also with the physical and the spiritual. It's offering us protection from sin, from guilt, from accidents, physical accidents, also spiritual accidents, from fear. It assures believers of God's eternal care and protection. In summary, so this Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 teaches that God is a dependable refuge. And trusting in his name only means assessing his immense power, all right? We assess that power and we find true safety in his presence. So I want to pray for those that are not believers right now, those that want to seek God, those that want to know God, and those that want God to be their safety. You want to call on Jesus' name. You want to be among the righteous. I pray in the name of Jesus that you receive the grace, you receive the direction that you need in life. You receive the Spirit of God and the forgiveness of your sins to be able to call the name of Jesus to work for you. I pray that you continue to receive every good thing and blessings that God has in stock for you. I pray that you forever praise the name of Almighty God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hello.